What's up everyone, this is Mr. King Lim here, and today you join me for the third and final one of our Yu-Gi-Oh! Memory of a Dorking Boxes. So this one is the final one, and this one is Ceremonial Battle. So this one was uh, a deck based on the battle between Yugi and Atem in the uh, finale of the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series. And uh, so this one, well, so this one was more cards used by uh, the main Yugi against the Pharaoh. So let's get this open. And once again, I am trying to keep these as intact as possible because I do plan to keep these boxes. Okay, well the tape is, uh, looks like the tape is not gonna be that useful. There we go, just move that down there a bit. So as I've said before, these, these three decks were put together in the end to form the TCG version of our Legendary Hero decks from uh, 2014. And here is the final one. And first of all, the sleeves. These are arguably the uh, my favourite sleeves actually, because they're the original Dark Magician. Uh, they're the original Dark Magician artwork with blue sleeves. I wonder how much these would be on eBay to buy. Uh, I do know, by the way, that there is actually Korean versions of this that came out uh, not too long ago. So, if you fancy actually getting something like this with the sleeves, just in the Korean version, that is a much cheaper option. By the way, I should. I've actually forgot to mention that. Yeah, I just thought I'd mention that because if you fancy getting the sleeves but don't really want to pay the amount, then I recommend going for the Korean version because the Korean version is a lot cheaper than the OCG version. Also, I noticed this one actually has a lot less fold, actually has a lot less spending than the other ones. So this one is easily the youngest of the three. So, uh, now we have our promo. So this was bl uh, Black Illusion, I think it was. Or, it might be Black Magic, maybe. Uh, so there's the third of the promos. And there is the third of the God Cards, the Winged Dragon, the Ra. And there is our token. So now we have the complete OCG set of the God Cards. With the older style, uh, with the oldest, older style layout. Actually, for this one, I'm actually going to I'm actually going to close the box. There we go. The boxes are quite nice, by the way. I should mention. Uh, so this one, I believe, is the artwork that we ended up having for our legendary for our legendary decks back in 2014. And that's a bit hard to see on camera. The shine, but I'll try. So this, I think, this was the box ours was based on in the end. And now for the last of the three decks. So first off you get a third artwork of Dark Magician, the Legend of Blue Eyes artwork. Then you have the f third artwork for Dark Magician Girl. Uh, this one is the, this one we got in the tin. Uh, Magician of Black Chaos. Uh, by the way, just up there, if you can't see, there is a very faint pentagram, so that was changed. Uh, then we have Magician of Black Chaos, Silent Magician level 8, Silent Swordsman level 7, uh, Marshmallow, Monster Reborn as an Ultra, uh, so if you don't want to get the TCG Lost Star Work promotion, then this is definitely a good alternative if you're just collecting artworks. Card of Sanctity, uh, Dark Magic Attack, or Dark Magic Burst is one of the two. Uh, you know, oh, this art world has definitely changed. Uh, Magicians Unite, I think it was. Yeah, so that's got a pentagram in the background. Same with... Oh, I can't remember. Uh, then you also get Dark Paladin as well, as our Ultra, which was pretty good. The only thing, the odd thing is, this deck doesn't have Buster Blader though. It's like, it's the Battle City one that has bus, that has Buster Blader. At least I don't. Oh, okay, no, I was wrong. There's Buster Blader. So, uh, Gandora. Then you have Silent Magician level four, Silent Swordsman level five, uh, Swordsman level three. There's Buster Blader. There's the Tricky. Jack Knight. Queen's Knight, King's Knight, then you've got the Gadgets, uh, 
skilled white magician. So that's black magician, that's white magician. Uh, block man and Karibo. Every deck has Karibo. Then you get Swords of Revealing Light, Gold Sarcophagus, Bomberization. Uh, I think it's. Is it dedication through light and darkness? Uh, might be. Uh, that's Black Luster Ritual. I believe so. Uh, can't remember. That's Ebon the Dragon Destroyer. Uh, glasses for Marshmallow. Then you get Mirror Force. Ooh, uh, I do not know this card. Uh, there's the Mega Fortress. And I think, is that Spell Reproduction? Uh, might be. Like I said, uh, it is a little bit difficult to remember some of the cards when they've got completely different artworks for the for the Japanese market. But overall, uh, these definitely are really uh, these are definitely really fun to open. Uh, as a collector, these definitely are something quite sought after. Uh, even though, of course, they are Japanese, they are quite valuable, and the value is only going to go up as uh, as time goes on. I believe at the time of recording this video, I believe the val the average value of these for each of them is around 70 to 80 pounds. That's close to $100 actually for the US market, I admit. But like I said, as time goes on, these are only going to become more and more valuable and sought after. Uh, probably, it'll probably be the same for like the, uh, that's... Dualless Anniversary box, that will probably only go up in value as well as time goes on. So, uh, yes, there was the third and final one of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Memory of a Dual King OCG boxes. Um, it's like I said before as well, there is Korean versions of this of each of these available. Um, they don't have the ultimate artworks, uh, so they don't have the original Japanese artworks but uh, they do have like virtually they do have the same cards I don't think hollow wise it's completely the same but the sleeves is almost the same as well so if you want to get a budget version of this then uh, I recommend going with the Korean version just to say so that is also an option because also our legendary our legendary decks are now quite expensive and um, just to say so uh there was the ceremonial battle version of Memory of the Dorking. If you've enjoyed this uh, this opening, then please make sure to check out my other OCG videos as well. And subscribe to the channel to know when the newest videos will be coming out. I hope you've enjoyed today's opening. And for now, this is Mr. King Lim, signing out.